Welcome. Um, if you have some environment variables in your Next.js project and uh, you need to publish the project into Vercel, for example, how do you make those variables work? Because when you push to GitHub, you cannot put the uh, .env .local file that you have inside your project. So how do you make those work? Well, uh, first of all, let's actually create that file. So let's put .env .local. And let's say that we have something called, called for example, uh, next uh, public uh, name equal to something, for example, I don't know, uh, John. Okay, so this is the next public name and then we're going to use it. And here you have the page and let's, for example, uh, instead of welcome to next.js, we're going to put welcome to process.env.next public name okay this is how it's called and let's open up the console and let's run the uh, website so we're going to open it up and uh, it says welcome to John which is the environment variable that we used okay now you probably won't use it for a name but this is just an example uh, and now once we have to uh, push this project to github let's see how we would do that so we will go to github and create a new repository and now we will call this for example youtube or something like that uh, tutorial actually just youtube is fine uh, i'm gonna make it private and we're going to create the repository and this is what it looks like so this is the link so here in the console what we'll do is just say git remote add origin and then the url uh, which is this one then we would add all the files and then uh, commit uh, saying I don't know first and this is the, the files and then we would push them so git um, push minus u uh, origin main we, if we go to github and reload the page we can see the files but we don't have a .env .local file uh, so when we go to Vercel uh, let's go to Vercel.com uh, this is the dashboard uh, and we can start a new project and import that project from github because Vercel automatically syncs uh, with your github projects so here we have YouTube and here what you can do is just go to environment variables and here you can actually add those environment variables so in this case um, let's try without adding an environment variable so let's deploy the app Okay, so uh, the app is done, and if we open the Versal uh, page, you can see it says "Welcome to," but it doesn't display John. That's because we did not uh, set the environment variable. So wh what you want to do is just uh, click "Go to Dashboard," and then go to Settings. On Settings, here you can find uh, on the left-hand side uh, environment variables, and this is what you want to click. So in this case, you want to uh, set as the name the same variable name that we used in the .env the local. So in this case, next public name, and you need to uh, type it exactly as shown in the uh, .env file. So uh, now we can set the value to John, for example, and uh, we just need to add the environment variables. And if we go back and reload the page, nothing is working. And the reason for that is that we need to redeploy the project. So if you go to uh, deployments here on the tab and uh, click on these three dots and click redeploy, uh, we just have to wait a little bit to the, uh, build the project again. Okay, and once it's done, you can open the app again. And in here it says, welcome to John. And uh, so this is working. This is how you do it. And if you want to change the variable uh, again, here you can edit the value here. Uh, again, uh, if you reload the page, it won't update because you need to redeploy the application. So this is how you do it. And if you want more tutorials like this, just let me know. And I will see you in the next one.